welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. Our specialist subjects tonight are four Roman emperors, an engineer nicknamed the Colossus of Rhodes, the pop star who changed his name to a symbol, and our greatest Victorian writer. Our four contenders have spent weeks mugging up on them all, but they get a mere two minutes to answer questions about them and an extra 30 seconds for their general knowledge. And the clock is king. So let's get on with it and ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? Lucy Glass. Your occupation? Stay-at-home mum. And your chosen subject? The life and music of Prince. A Prince songwriter, singer, producer, award winner. Two minutes on him, starting now. What was the name of Prince's studio complex in Minnesota that was completed in the late 80s? Paisley Park. Yep. What medical condition did he have until he was seven years old? Epilepsy. Yes. Which Oscar-nominated actress directed the video for Prince's single Te Amo Corazon? Pass. Which rock band did Prince open for in October 1981 at the LA Coliseum? Their fans did not appreciate his music. The Rolling Stones. Yes. Prince didn't perform on the USA for Africa charity single We Are The World, but he did contribute a song to the accompanying album. Which song? No More Tears. For the Tears In Your Eyes. What was the name of the first band that Prince played in alongside Charles Smith and Andre Anderson? It was later renamed Champagne. Grand Central Corporation. Yes. On which of her studio albums did Prince co-write and duet with Madonna on the track Love Song? Like a Prayer. Yes. Prince wrote the US hit singles The Glamorous Life, The Bell of St Mark and A Love Bizarre for a percussionist and member of his touring group. Who is she? Sheila E. Yep. Which of the tracks on the album 8 by Prince's jazz fusion band Madhouse was released as a single? Funk Machine. Six. In 1990, Sinead O'Connor topped the UK singles chart with a cover version of a song written by Prince. Which song? Nothing Compares to You. Yep. In 1993, during a prolonged contractual dispute with his record company, Prince announced that he was changing his name to an unpronounceable symbol. Which record company? Warner Brothers. Yep. What was the title of the fifth and last Prince single to top the Billboard Hot 100? It reached number one in 91. Cream? Yes. Which of his albums was scheduled for release in December 1987 but was withdrawn and not issued until 1994? Crystal Ball. The Black Album. Under what pseudonym did Prince write the song Sugar Walls for Sheena Easton? Alexander Nevermind. Yep. At which London venue in August and September 2007 did Prince play 21 nights he performed to around 350,000 fans in total? The O2. Yes, the O2 Arena. The 1982 album What Time Is It includes a track entitled 777-9311, which was the telephone number of one of Prince's long-serving backing musicians. What's his name? Andre Simone. Des Dickerson. <laughs> Uh, one pass, Lucy. Uh, the Oscar-nominated actress who directed that single was Salma Hayek. You have scored 11 points. Thank you. And our next contender, please. Your name is? Jeff Stevenson. Your occupation? Retired IT engineer. And your chosen subject? The life and works of Thomas Telford. Thomas Telford, the pioneering engineer and architect born in Scotland in 1757. Two minutes on him starting now. Telford was apprenticed to a craftsman after leaving school. What type of craftsman? Stonemason. Yep. His first job in London, working as a mason, was on a building designed by Sir William Chambers. What building? Somerset House. Yes, he conducted extensive excavations on the ruins of a Roman city in the late 1780s. Which city? Viriconium. Yep. What building did the Shropshire MP, Sir William Pulteney, commission Telford to renovate in 1786? Um, Kirkwood House. No, it's Shrewsbury Castle. On what rock was the first stone laid for his Menai suspension bridge in 1819? Uh, the uh, pigs. Yes, Pig yeah. Island. For which English town, now a city, was he consulted for a scheme to improve the water supply between 1799 and 1802? Liverpool. Yes. What is the name of the foundry near Ruaben, where William Hazeldine cast the ironwork for Telford's bridge at Craigalachie? 
Plus Kneissen. Yes. What is the name of the organization founded in 1818 that invited Telford to become its first president two years later? Institution of Civil Engineers. Yep. The work of a pioneering French road builder was an important influence on Telford. Who was he? Tressen Gay. Yes. The King of Sweden asked Telford to act as a consultant for the eastern extension of a canal. Which canal? The Gotha Canal. Yes. What was the name of the poet laureate and friend of Telford's who referred to him as the Colossus of Rhodes? Robert Southey. Yep. Which crossing, designed by him over the River Severn, is believed to be the second major iron bridge to be built in Britain? <sighs> Pass. What is the name of the organisation that aimed to improve the economic development of the Scottish Highlands? Telford was involved with it for many years. Exchange Bills, lo the Exchange the, Bills Loans Committee. The British Fisheries Society. <laughs> what is the name of the channel that Telford collaborated on with John Rennie that diverted the River Ouse near Kings Lynn and was completed in 1821? The... King the upper cut. The O Brink cut. Which project that began in 1826 was designed by Telford and consisted of two docks connected to a central basin that allowed them to be used independently of each other? St Catherine's Dock. Yes. What is the name of the reference work that Telford financially supported and contributed articles to on architecture, bridges and inland navigation for many years? The, in the uh, institutions? No, the Edinburgh Encyclopedia. One past Jeff, that um, crossing, the second major iron bridge to be built in Britain, was the Bildwas. Bildwas. You have scored 11 points. <laughs> and now our third contender, please. Tom Stevenson. Your occupation? Assistant head teacher. And your chosen subject? The Julio Claudian dynasty. The uh, four successors to the first Roman Emperor Augustus, who between them ruled for more than 50 years. Two minutes on them starting now. Which Roman philosopher and statesman was recalled from exile by the Emperor Claudius in AD 49 to tutor his adopted son Nero? Seneca. Yep, Gaius Caesar, the son of the general Germanicus, was given the name Caligula by his father's troops, whom he grew up with. What does Caligula mean in English? Little boots. Yes. What was the name of Tiberius' first wife, whom he was forced to divorce in order to marry Julia, the daughter of Augustus? Vipsarnia. Yep. What Latin word, meaning first one or leader, did Augustus use as his unofficial title instead of calling himself emperor? Princeps. Yep. According to Suetonius, what did Nero say was the cause of death of Claudius' son Britannicus? Some said he was poisoned by Nero. Uh, epilepsy. Yes. What is the name of the fellow senator who, along with Morena, was condemned to death in 23 BC for allegedly conspiring to murder Augustus? Pass. In AD 14, the soldier, Sejanus, rose to power as the prefect of an elite unit of the Roman Imperial Army. What was it called? The Praetorian Guard. Yes. What was the nickname meaning twin of the joint heir to Tiberius who was forced by Caligula to kill himself? Jamelus. Yes. What was the name of Caligula's favourite horse, which he may have intended to make consul? Incitatus. Yes. Tiberius effectively left Sejanus in charge of Rome in AD 26 and went to live on which island? Capri. Yes. Augustus was named as an adopted son and heir in Julius Caesar's will. What was Augustus's blood relationship to Caesar? Nephew. Great nephew. According to Suetonius, Augustus could justly boast that he had found Rome built of bricks but left it as a city made of... Marble. Yes. What was the name of the eunuch who was Claudius's food taster and was suspected by some of having fatally poisoned the emperor? Pass. In which gardens were Caligula's remains buried after he was murdered by Cassius Caeria and others? Pass. In which forest were three Roman legions, led by Varus, destroyed in battle in AD 9? This led to the end of Roman expansion in Eastern Europe. Tudorburg. Is correct. You had three passes. Those gardens in which uh, Caligula's remains were buried after he was murdered were the Lamian Gardens. Halotus was the name of the eunuch, who was uh, Claudius' food taster. And Caipio was his fellow senator condemned to death. Tom, you have scored 11 points. Thank you. And our final contender, please. And your name is? Susan Simmons. Your occupation? Retired. And your chosen subject? 
the novels of Charles Dickens. The great Charles Dickens in two minutes, starting now. What is the real name of the streetwise pickpocket known in Oliver Twist as the Artful Dodger? Jack Dawkins. Yep. What spider-infested object encountered in Miss Havisham's room does Pip describe in Great Expectations as a centrepiece of some kind, so heavily overhung with cobwebs that its form was quite indistinguishable? Wedding cake. Yep. In what year does A Tale of Two Cities begin? It's characterised famously as the best of times and the worst of times in the opening lines. 1767? 1775. Uh. In Barnaby Rudge, which character's first spoken words are hello, 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 bow, wow, wow? Grip? Yes, the raven. What is the title of the celebrated poem recited by Mrs Leo Hunter at a fancy dress breakfast in the Pickwick Papers? Don't know, pass. What remarkable phenomenon causes the death of Crook, the proprietor of the rag and bottle shop in Bleak House? Spontaneous combustion. Yes. When Nicholas Nickleby flees Do the Boys Hall to London, he is employed by Mr and Mrs Kenwigs to teach what subject to their four daughters? English? French. At the start of hard times, which man of realities declares, now, nah, what I want is facts. Facts alone are wanted in life. Mr Gradgrind. Yes. In which newspaper does Mr Micawber write a warm message to the eminent author David Copperfield? It was delivered to him by Mr Peggotty, who had emigrated to Australia. The Times? The Port Middle Bay Times. In the old curiosity shop, what event prompts the old schoolmaster, Mr Martin, to gravely observe that it is not on earth that heaven's justice ends? Um, Nell's death? The death of little Nell, yeah. What is the occupation of Joe Gargery, Philip Pirrip's good-hearted brother-in-law in Great Expectations? Blacksmith. Yes. What gaudy, neglected bird is kept in a cage at the Norwood home of the sinister manager, Mr Carker, in Dombey and Son? Uh, Benny. A parrot. What name does the kindly Mr Jarndyce give to the room in Bleak House to which he retires when, as he puts it, the wind is easterly, meaning that he's in a bad temper? can't remember, sorry. Well, I can tell you because we're out of time. The Growlery. Oh, of course. Yeah. And the title of that celebrated poem, recited by Mrs Leo Hunter, Ode to an Expiring Frog. Oh. <laughs> I know. I didn't exactly. Know. Only <laughs> Dickens, eh? Those two passes, Susan, you have seven points. Thank you. And now it is that time when we invite all our contenders back into the studio together. And we move on to the general knowledge round now. Two and a half minutes of questions now, and if there's a tie at the end of it, then the person with the fewer passes is the winner, and if there's a tie on passes as well, there will be a tie break. And remember, the contenders don't know at this stage what each other has scored. So, for everyone at home, let's have a look at all the scores. As always, we start with the contender with the lower score, so let's ask Susan to return to the black chair. And now it can be revealed that uh, everybody else knows what you already know, which is you have seven points. So, here we go. Two and a half minutes of general knowledge. Starting now, the coronary arteries supply blood to what organ in the body? The heart. Yep. Which Pacific Islands were named the Sandwich Islands by Captain Cook when he became the first European to visit them in January 1778? The Windward Islands? No, the Hawaiian Islands. Who first made her name in Roger Vadim's 1956 film And God Created Woman? Bridget Bardot? Yes. What textile pattern that consists of curved shapes based on an Indian pine cone takes its English name from the town in Scotland where shawls with the pattern were traditionally made? Paisley. Yes. In which county is the Jodrell Bank Discovery Centre and Arboretum? Cumbria. Cheshire. Which novel by R.D. Blackmore is subtitled A Romance of Exmoor? Lorna Doon. Yes. Members of a rowing club founded in 1818 and based in Henley-on-Thames have won more than 100 Olympic medals between them. Which club? Pass, sorry. What title is the most senior of those bestowed upon a male heir apparent to the throne? The current holder is Prince Charles. Prince of Wales. Yes. What bird of the cuckoo family, native to the southwestern states of America, gets its name because it prefers to escape predators by scuttling along the ground? The, uh, mm. Sorry. No, no pass. The title character of an opera by Puccini is a cold and cruel oriental princess who's eventually conquered by love. Which opera? Uh, 
Madam Butterfly. No, Turandot. What name was usually given to the unpopular community charge introduced in Scotland in 1989 and into England and Wales the following year? Poll tax. Yes. Which singer-songwriter wrote and had a number two UK hit in 1974 with the song Streets of London? Roger Whittaker. Ralph McTell. <laughs> what is the traditional Japanese word for goodbye? It was used as the title of a 1957 film that stars Marlon Brando. Sayonara. Yep. Which Victorian Prime Minister was famous for his attempts to save fallen women? Israeli. Gladstone. What name is given to the seventh and final service in the daily cycle of canonical offices as practiced by some traditional Christian monastic communities? Its name means completed. Knowns? Compline. Second Foundation, first published in 1953, is the third book, the Foundation Trilogy, by which author? Isaac Asimov. Yes. From which Scandinavian country's cuisine does the pea soup et sopa come? Finland. Sweden. Who plays Victor Meldrew's neighbour Patrick Trench in the television series One Foot in the Grave? Angus Dayton. Yes. Angus Deaton, indeed. You had two passes. That bird that scuttles along the ground rather than flies Road up. Roadrunner. Riff the Roadrunner. <laughs> As you know, no one knew at the time we couldn't bring it to mind. And the rowing club is the Leander of course. Club, of course. Susan, you have a total of 16 points. Thank you. <laughs> and now, Lucy, again, please. And... You start out, Lucy, with 11 points. Score to beat at the moment is 16. Here we go. In what book does the March Hare attend the Mad Hatter's Tea Party? Alice in Wonderland. Yep. What is the Gaelic name for Ireland? Era. Yep. In which town did Margaret Thatcher's father, Alfred Roberts, run a corner shop? Pass. The nickname of a 10th century king of Denmark is used for a common technology standard that enables short range wireless communication between electronic devices. What nickname? Bluetooth? Yes. What is the common name of the plant Lunaria annua, whose disc like papery seed pods are often used in dried flower arrangements? Pass. Walking Away was a top three UK hit in December 2000 for which Southampton-born vocalist? Craig David. Yep. The village of Kettlewell and the market town of Hordes lie in which national park? Peak District. Yorkshire Dales. What prefix that implies royal favour features in the names of football clubs based in Madrid, Seville and Santander? Real. Yes. What is the title of the 2017 award-winning television documentary about the world's oceans narrated by Sir David Attenborough? Blue Planet 2. Yes. Which British king was succeeded to the throne by his niece, Queen Victoria, in 1837? William the Fourth. Yes. What tough woven fabric used to make trousers and jackets has a cut pile with lengthwise velvety ribs? Corduroy. Yes. What word for an unwholesome smell or atmosphere comes from the Greek for defilement or stain? Odor. Miasma. Which German-born conductor with the forename Otto became principal conductor of the London Philharmonia in 1959 when he was in his mid-70s? Pass. Which city surrendered to North Vietnamese troops on the 30th of April 1975, effectively bringing the war in Vietnam to an end? Ho Chi Minh. Yes, Saigon. By what name are the nine daughters of Zeus and Nemosyne, the goddess of memory, collectively known in classical mythology? The Muses. Yes. What is the name of the author and illustrator who was appointed children's laureate in June 2017? Her creations include Charlie and Lola, Clarice Bean and Ruby Redfoot. Lauren Child. Yes. Who won an Oscar for the title role in Erin Brockovich, the story of a single mother who helps the inhabitants of a small town win a multi-million dollar lawsuit against a utility company? Julia Roberts. Yes. What was the nationality by birth of the artist Pablo Picasso, who died in 1973? Spanish. Yes. Which novel by George Eliot, set in the fictional Midlands town that gives it its name, opens with the lines, Miss Brooke had that kind of beauty which seems to be thrown into relief by poor dress? Pass. Middle March, I can tell you. And your other passes, four passes altogether, Otto Klemperer was the conductor in question. The name of that plant, disc-like papery seed pods, is honesty and Margaret Thatcher was born and brought up in Grantham. You have Lucy now 24 points.
And next into the chair, Jeff. And Jeff, as you know, you also start out with 11 points. And as you also know, 24 is now the score to beat. So here we go. Oh. Two and a half minutes of general knowledge. In America, which oil-rich state is the second largest state in area after Alaska? Texas. Yep. What river of northern India is regarded by Hindus as their most sacred river? Ganges. Yes. Henry Garland's winner of the match and Robert James's tossing for innings are among the paintings on show at which cricket ground in London? Not. Yep. What name is given to either of the two instances each year when the sun is exactly above the equator and night and day are equal in length? Sources. Equinox. What French aniseed flavoured aperitif, whose name comes from a word that means mixture, becomes cloudy when water is added to it? Annie. Pastis. Pastis. In which 1994 film does Jim Carrey play a mild mannered bank clerk called Stanley Ipkiss, who gains strange powers when he puts on the ancient artifact of the title? The Mask. Yes. The Yorkshire gardener George Russell is famed for the development of what herbaceous perennial? Box. Lupin. Which composer settled in Bayreuth and began the building of the festival theatre that opened there in 1876? Wagner. Yes. The founder of an Eastern religion is known by a title that means enlightened or awakened one. What religion? Religion. Islam. Buddhism. Which Roman emperor had his mother, Agrippina, put to death in AD 59 and his wife, Octavia, three years later? Nero. Yeah. Yes. Which British political party was launched by the so-called Gang of Four on the 26th of March 1981? Social Democrat. Yes. What is the name of the technique in which multicoloured woods or other materials are inlaid into a wood veneer to produce a decorative effect? Marketry. Yes. A Russian novel that was made into a multi-Oscar award-winning film was first published in Italy in 1957, but not published in the Soviet Union until 1987 because of its critical approach to the Russian Revolution. Which novel? Um, Soviet sins. Um, no pass. <laughs> Which Norfolk town on the estuary of the Great Ouse River was one of England's most important East Coast ports? Pass. Whose only UK number one single was Hit Me With Your Rhythm Stick in 1979? Injury. Yes. What's the name of the crumbling castle where Titus, the 77th Earl of Groan, lives in Mervyn Peake's trilogy? Uh, Grindleford. Gormengast. Herman, who is over seven feet tall, is the patriarch of a ghoulish television family who live at 1313 Mockingbird Lane. Which family? Munsters. Yeah. What was the name of the German currency prior to the introduction of the euro in 2002? Mark. Yes. Goyathle, a leader of the Chiricahua Apache, who was born in 1829, is better known by a name that was given to him by the Mexicans. What is it? Satchel Panza. Geronimo. Geronimo. <laughs> uh, two passes. That Norfolk town on the estuary of the Great Ooze is King's Lynn, and the Russian novel was Dr. Shivago. You've scored, Jeff, 22 points. And finally, Tom, again, please. And Tom, you also begin with 11 points. The score to beat is still 24. Let's see if you can do it to win a place in the semi final. Here we go. Ricky Gervais plays David Brent, the hapless manager in which television series? The Office. Yep, the 1878 painting, And When Did You Last See Your Father by William Frederick Ames, is set during which war? First World War. The Civil War. What type of Italian almond flavoured liqueur is particularly associated with Sarono near Lake Como? Di Sarono is one of the most famous examples. Amaretto? Yes. The Hungarian Vishla is a breed of what domestic animal? Dog? Yep. D Day was the code name for the landing of the Allied invasion forces in France in June 1944. In which region of France did they land? Normandy. Yes. In what sport did the American record breaker Yogi Berra <laughs> excel? Baseball? Yes. Which Gloucestershire town, known by the Romans as Corinium Dominorum, has the Royal Agricultural University on its outskirts? Pass. Cerumen, a substance produced by the glands in the outer ears, is commonly known by what name? Earwax. Yep. The city of La Linea lies at the crossing point to a British overseas territory that borders Spain. Which territory? Gibraltar. Yep. In which futuristic 2004 film does Will Smith play a police detective who investigates crime that may have been committed by a machine? Its theme and title are taken from a book of short stories by Isaac Asimov. Oh, iRobot? Yes. Since 1959, the American Senate has been made up of how many members? Uh, 
60. 100. The Dolly Cart Opera Company is specially associated with the works of a librettist and composer duo famed for their light operas. Which duo? Uh, Gilbert and Sullivan. Yes. What name for an official papal document comes from the Latin name for the leaden seal affixed to it? Bull. Yep. Which poet, who died at Arras in 1917, initially wrote his verse under the name of Edward Easterway following the encouragement of his friend Robert Frost? Owen. Edward Thomas. What guide to correct behaviour on Britain's roads was first issued by the Ministry of Transport on the 14th of April 1931? High record. Yes. The title of Aldous Huxley's semi-autobiographical novel taken from Milton Sampson Agonistes is Eilus in... Pass. In which British electronic music group, in collaboration with Zara Larson, followed their Christmas number one single, Rockabye, with Symphony, which topped the charts in May 2017? Years and years. Clean Bandit. Which radio cricket commentator, famed for his soft Hampshire burr, retired in 1980? Pass. What name is usually given to ethylene glycol or propylene glycol when it's used as a coolant in a car radiator in wintertime? Antifreeze. Antifreeze is correct. You had um, three passes. John Arlott was the cricket commentator. Aldous Huxley's book, Eyeless in Gaza. And the Royal Agricultural University is on the outskirts of Sirencester. Tom, 23 points. Which means Lucy is our winner. Congratulations. <laughs> Yes, the one point in it. So let us remind ourselves of all the scores. In fourth place, 16 points, Susan. Third place, 22 points, Jeff. Second place, 23 points, Tom. First place, 24 points, Lucy. And she goes through to the semi-final. <laughs> and if you would like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time for more masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>